Hey there Aries, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. This is a general message, so take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. If it doesn't, you can always try a different reading. See if that one does for you. I hope you guys are all doing very well. Today we're going to use the Whispers of Love Oracle cards. I just want to pull an Oracle energy and see what the overall... Um, what your overall energy or situation might be looking like. And then we're going to pull from the, which is this one, Sacred Heart Tarot to dive in a little deeper. So let's see, what do we have for Aries? Oh, this just came flying out at me. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. You know, I get a lot of studying energy with these pyramids, outer space, close up on the planet. I know they were just doing the um, rover on Mars not too long ago. I feel like, oh, and there you are, Aries, sitting here, thinking, contemplating the vastness of the universe, history, space, what it all means. Oh my gosh, Aries, you're hurting my head. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm just messing, you guys. Um, but you do, though. You're very studied. You're very rehearsed. Look at that. Atlantis. I didn't see that when I first looked at this card, when I first picked it up. That's new. Atlantis, Lumeria, Crystal City, um, Indigo Children, Dark Side of the Moon. Wow. Okay. I could, I could really learn things like you and I could have an interesting conversation, whoever I'm channeling in this specific message. It does feel like a specific message. Um, again, take it if it resonates, tweak it if you need to. Somebody is just very intelligent, extremely intelligent. And I love it because in your free time, you don't just sit on the couch and binge watch, you know, Netflix and tarot videos and, you know what I mean? You, you study. You think. You've cracked a few books. You know what I'm saying? Like, you may not have even had to read it cover to cover to understand what the book was trying to tell you. I got respect. I got serious respect. Aries, oh, I get it because, yeah, you're my opposite. I'm a Libra. All right. Anyways, um, we'll see what your spread looks like. Could have something to do with this. Might not. But yeah, let's see who and or what is coming towards Aries. Please and thank you, Spirit. It's coming towards Aries. I just heard a stronger intuition. Oh, wow. And then the Ace of Wands comes out. Yes. The Ace of Wands. Interesting how we have the star in reverse at the bottom. I feel like the star in reverse is like giving up hope. Something that you once wanted, you dreamt this up, you know? And you just, you didn't want it anymore. You gave up hope. I don't know if you were in a dark place. This does seem like a, it could possibly be a dark energy. Or maybe you're just lonely. Maybe you're alone in this world and wondering if there's anyone out there that's like you. And this passion, look at that, it's a phoenix rising. This reminds me of going to going through the dark night of the soul because you go into the dark depths of who you really are, what you want, taking it all into consideration and what, what is it that you really want. So while you're sitting here thinking, I feel like there's something once upon a time you gave up hope on that it's like this spark is coming back. And you know what? Maybe you didn't necessarily give up hope. Maybe it didn't seem achievable at the time because you were in school. You were studying. You were working with your friends and family and trying to build your own family, right? Like you could have just been distracted. This could be an old passion that's coming back. This could be an old flame that's coming back. I feel like there's something in you that is reawakening whether it's a relationship or a passion because for some of you you're sitting here thinking and these pyramids 
Atlantis, all this is like past energy. It's things that have already been established. So I feel like something that's already been a pastime for you or a hobby or <clears throat> a very close relationship. Anyways, let's see. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. Whoops. Ooh, Princess of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody that you haven't been in communication with. Someone you haven't talked to in a while or something you haven't thought about in a while. It's like, oh my gosh, I forgot I did that. Yeah, and look, I split the deck at the Empress. This is what I'm talking about, Aries. There's growth. There's prosperity. There's even happiness. Like, wait a minute. I love doing that. So for those of you guys that recently feel like you were lacking motivation, it's coming in. It's coming in. I see it right here. Yes, look at that. Justice came out. Gorgeous. Could be dealing with a Libra. That's your natural opposite. Some of you guys were waiting on a court case to wrap up. Okay, so that's different. If you were up late making your final decision... That's for some of you, but others of you, this could have to do with the actual courts, um, with law, with your job. Did I get the job? Did I get the job? Did I do good in that interview? Um, is the judge going to, oh my goodness, somebody, um, I don't even think it's a heavy offense. But it's it's looking like you're okay, all right? If somebody did something, it feels like a, a minor accident or something minor. Like, it wasn't even a big deal. Nobody got hurt. Everybody walked away. Everything was fine. Um, I think that, I don't know, I'm getting like a vehicle. <laughs> so funny, random. But somebody, either it was you or it was your child <laughs> trying to learn how to drive and backed into the... I don't even think it's a mailbox. It could have been like a neighbor's trash can and they want you to replace the trash can <laughs> or something like that. I don't think it's even going to court, but somebody's got a Karen for a neighbor, okay? That's just what I'm getting. Don't worry. You're fine. You already replaced it. So, like, <laughs> the judge is just going to be pissed at your Karen neighbor for dragging everybody into court for no fucking reason. Sorry to any Karens out there. I apologize. You guys know what I mean by that, right? Like, just somebody that's so freaking... <sighs> you can tell that they came into this dimension from somewhere the fuck else, okay? And they remember wherever it is they came from because that's just not how it goes here. <laughs> what do we have here? Yeah, the fool. Yeah, you're going to walk away with a clean slate. You're good. You have nothing to worry about, okay? You're in the clear. Look at how her dress completely blends in with the environment. You're in the clear. You've been cleared. You're good. You don't have to worry about anything, okay? You definitely have a spirit animal. You'll know which animal that is. Some of you guys might actually have a bird. Um, I'm getting like a parrot or a, a cockatoo. I can almost hear the... The whistly sound of the, of the bird talking. I don't know if I can mimic it. I'm not trying to embarrass myself this early in the day. <laughs> not yet. So, um, but yeah, this, this could be any pet that you have. You might even have multiple pets. Because we do have a bird over here and then the dog over here. There could be more than one pet in the home that really bonds with you. One of them, though, one or two of them, you have a very special bond with. Like, you guys just get each other. It's like you can just talk to each other. You really are talking to each other, though. And I think you're wise enough to know that, Aries. What's this here? Yeah, the chariot in reverse. I was kind of thinking, what's up with Karen? Like, how's that situation going to play out? Especially if that's somebody's neighbor. They're not moving forward. Or this is where you were not moving forward. You now are. Bringing something back, you know, and that's what I was talking about. It's like an old hobby, an old something you really enjoy doing. With the chariot in reverse, you haven't been doing it, but you're bringing it back. Something is coming back up to the surface. 
it's that Mercury retrograde energy. Um, I think we've got another, what, week of it? Or two, maybe? No, I don't even think it's two. I think it's supposed to wrap up on, like, the 29th or something. It'll be the 22nd that this goes out. So, yeah. Something you haven't been moving forward with. Something you haven't been moving towards. Something you just haven't been working. Wow. With. Working with. I don't know. This could be an old job reaching back out to you. This could even be a false start. I feel like some of you guys met a love interest and it never really got off the ground, but you guys definitely are, were interested in each other. They might be coming back into your life some way, somehow. I feel like they kind of came over like a friend of a friend type deal. They kind of came over with somebody, probably a Libra. Could be talking about an Aries or this is you. A friend took you to go hang out with some other friends or some family. The moon. Yeah, but not all was revealed. Oh, but look at the intricacies of this moon card. Oh, I love this deck, you guys. Look at that. There's a lot going on here. And there's two. What is that? That's a wolf and that's a dog. Like even the differences that you two have somehow complement each other. I've never seen that in a deck before. You've got a wolf and a dog. What? I like the way this is making me think. And look at that triangle, the strongest shape. You could each have a familiar or spirit animal and they get along with each other. Yo, listen to your pets. I'm not, I cannot say that enough. Listen to your pets. What else do we have for Aries? Sun in reverse. Oh shit. Yeah, there were things that you guys did not know about this connection. You're about to though. It's about to make sense. I can feel it. Ace of Cups! <laughs> yes! Aries, this is the love flowing. I don't think it did before. I don't think it did the first time. It didn't get a lot of traction. There was a lot of unknowns. There was a lot of unclear, unsure, you know. But uh, coming back around. Coming back around. <laughs> She'll be coming around the corner when she comes. Yeehaw! Did I really just hear that? <laughs> Yeehaw! We got a cowboy in here, you guys. Or a cowgirl. Southerner. I love that accent so much. I actually had a cousin that would come up from the South every summer. And um, she would stay with the family. And we would kidnap her. <laughs> Not actually kidnap her, but we would, uh, we would end up having her over uh, stay with us at our house for a good chunk of the summer and um I just naturally picked up her accent I don't know how I did it <laughs> I didn't realize back then but um yeah after she left for like three weeks after she went back home you know because school was gonna start I still had her accent and everyone's like Jess what are you doing I'm like I, guys I don't know <laughs> I can't help it I just oh I love her accent so bad I wanted it and then I just boom had it it was so wild Look at that nine of cups. That ace plus that nine makes that ten of cups, which is happily ever after. This is what I'm telling you guys. What? How, how does that song go? I think it's Ariana Grande. I see it. I want it. I got it. <laughs> like, yeah. Yup. Temperance in reverse. I feel like you've been patient. You've been patient. And yes, you've lost your patience here and there, but you needed, a, you needed this balance that the justice energy is bringing in. And if you guys don't know how to do the balance thing yourself, that's fine. The reason it's coming in as justice, the major arcana, is because the divine is coming in to establish the balance. Okay. I'm, get, I'm definitely getting an earth angel vibe here with this. And I just kind of feel temperance in reverse is more like 
there's no need to be patient anymore or there's nothing else to temper like you're there ace of cups nine of cups some of you guys already were there you just didn't see it because you were always looking at what's next what's next that's been a major theme in the collective what's right in front of you what's next what's next and you're already fully in touch present in the here you're not carrying anything more than you need You've got your loyal, faithful companion with you. I'm on the edge. Yeah. What does she say? Of glory or something? I, I don't really know that song. It's a, it's a Lady Gaga song. Oh, come on. They give me a song I don't even know. I think that's the name of the song, though, is I'm on the edge. For some reason, that song is coming to my mind. If you know it and you've heard it recently or you will hear it, um, in the near future, what are you thinking about at that time? Because I feel like there's somebody here that doesn't fully understand what I'm talking about. It hasn't been revealed to you yet. But under the surface, there's a lot of happiness in a department where there wasn't. And when it hits you, this is like an epiphany. I'm getting this Ace of Wands like an epiphany. Like, oh, I get it now. Like... It's going to make a lot of sense real soon. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Until then, like, share, subscribe. Mwah. Stay beautiful.